y'all just stepped into like crazy music land because this is video number three i think it's three number three of seven eight videos coming out today in case you like what you see there'll be more today anyhow this is Naturally 7, who I've never heard before, and I'm assuming Naturally 7 is a play on a music joke. How quickly can I attempt to say that in a way that makes sense? It's a weird note, a uh, weird joke, because the seventh in a major scale is typically raised, so the key of A major, your seventh note would be a G sharp. And if you were to write it out, you could make the seven natural and make it a G, and be more like A mixolydian mode, or A major with a natural seven, although I would call it lowered seven, so I'm not sure I agree with that thing, and anyone who understands that already knew that. I shouldn't waste time on that. But hey, that's what I do, because I have to fill the space before I hit play. I don't know why. Anyways, I'm really excited to hear these guys. Let's do it. They have their game faces on. Yeah, they do. Okay, one, they sound amazing, but I just want to, in case anyone cares, of course you care, you're here. You're like, why is he talking? Well, I mean, why, why are you, well, it's you here if you're not here for me talking. Um, the moving your hand when you're doing acapella or doing the trumpet thing or whatever, it actually, believe it or not, it actually helps you stay in tune. It does. Uh, in music school, they'd often tell us that when you're trying to figure out, when you're learning how to figure out stuff and you have to do it in class with no instrument, you, you take your hand and you actually try to map out the notes with your hand and that way you can keep your relative spot. It actually helps, it doesn't make it harder. It does, I don't know. We fat like that, we slick like that, Jericho, let's go! That guitar sound is wicked. Oh, the bass sound, everything was sound was great. Jack is her on point. That guitar sound. Alright, obviously the harmonies are sick on point. It's hard to pick a single thing to focus on. What I would focus on, well, I'm focused on it, I'm talking about it, is you're listening to like just right now they hit like a three part vocal harmony and just smash, knock it out the park. That's what that sound means. It means like you hit the ball, knock it out the park. But what might be more amazing than the three part harmony is the fact that there are dudes behind them pretending to be instruments. And normally, I've seen lots and lots of acapella. They're really popular in music school. There's always tons of acapella groups and they have competitions or whatever. Um, when people do the acapella band thing, you always are hearing someone like trying to sound like a drum, but it's their voice. So they're trying to sound like a bass, but it's their voice. And they're usually pretty good I mean, because they're in music school, they, you know, the performers. But they just sound like someone pretending to be instruments. Right now, they, the dudes pretending to be instruments sound like instruments, and so you're not even listening to them. You're listening to the three dudes in the front doing the harmony. Sick. Hey, hey. I see you looking at us crazy. Like we ain't gonna take this, baby. We're gonna walk around the daily. Seven times like an Israeli. We're gonna break these walls down tonight.
All right, so a flawless performance. I'm assuming the other minute is judges talking. Sorry if it's, if it's not. Um, when you're dealing with uh, people who dominate their space, as Naturally 7 is doing and as Dimash did um, earlier on the other video we looked at, a lot of the times, um, if the people have stage, you know, they got stage charisma, stage presence, they're able to actually be there and look cool while they do their thing and then they execute all the notes, it actually comes down to usually musical taste. Like, how good a job did the performers pick uh, of, of the song they chose versus the audience they're playing in front of? Because they, chances are if they pick the right song, they're good enough to win. And now it really comes down to whether or not they picked a song that's good enough to connect with the judges. Same thing like someone like Dimash, his vocal range is absurd, his talent is absurd, but he just might not pick the right song for you. It's like sometimes I see amazing guitarists, and I'm like, you're amazing, but nobody cares. You know? Like, I have songs. They're cool. Nobody cares. It happens. This video, you might think is okay, but there's a lot of people who are like, this video, this guy, why is he talking? It's not any good. That's what happens when you put your stuff out there. Anyways, on to TNT, Bang Bang cover, and then we'll be back in the Korean world with Taman Tiger, Akmu Dinosaur, Exo Heart Attack, VCR, and Taman Sexuality. That's where I'm going to wave bye. Bye, y'all. I'll see y'all at the next video. What? What?